pussy is easy. Here, on the Chuck Stu Show. Always. That's always easy. It's so easy. Wow. It's laughable how easy it is. Now listen, my name is Dr. Pearls Houston Book. And my AKAs include Dr. Neil Savage, Red Hefner, Black Bauer, and your boy with all the AKAs. And I'm the co-host to the man, the myth, the legend, the great one, the one who will never be compared to anyone, Mr. Chuck Stu. That is me right here, and we're going to be watching the next episode of NXT. By the way, I hate this fucking beginning. I hate the fucking song that plays up. It's like, hey, all the whores, turn around, stomp your feet, stomp the ground. <laughs> I don't know what they're fucking saying. What are you saying? saying? All the whores, the turn around, stomp your feet? What the fuck? The only entrance that I like that has to do with the WWF or WWE. Hold up, it's William Regal talking. Unfortunately, our medical staff has advised me that Bailey's not fit to compete at Holy this time. Shit, so, tripled. in tonight's main event, we'll be having a triple threat match. Carmella versus Alexa Bliss versus Nia Jax. Yes! Match will be the number one contender who will face Asuka for the NXT Women's Championship at TakeOver on June the 8th. Yes! You know, William Regal, he's an underrated fucking commissioner. Like, I think William Regal should be moved up to the main roster and take care of that, because, like, right now, Shane and Stephanie suck ass. Suck hella ass. They suck so much ass, it's disgusting. So much ass. They suck, like, ten ass. Well, let me tell you something, all right? This take NXT TakeOver, this next pay-per-view they're doing, is coming on June 8th, and it's going to be fucking bananas, because you forgot, you've got, first of all, you've got, you know, you, you've got the fucking... Tag match, you got a tag match between American Alpha and Revival, which that alone is the reason to get it. Uh, then you've got the main event cage match, Samoa Joe and Finn Balor, two of the greats in the business. And then you've got fucking a new match they just announced, Austin Aries and Shinsuke Nakamura. Like, really? Like, are you fucking kidding me? That's gonna be a dope-ass match, like... That's gonna be a ridiculous pay-per-view, it's gonna be... It's gonna best anything that WWE's put out this I year. I think that, uh, it's gonna best, um... Are right, these, these two guys from last these week? These two guys from last week. The Johnny Jumper Gargano, Killers? Gar Gargano and Chiampa. They're the guys from Ring of Honor. And you were impressed by them, if I remember correctly. Yes, I was. And uh, Extreme Rules actually just happened last week. I think what you just described from the matches that are going to be happening on the next NXT TakeOver. Um, I get it, Vince, that you're doing the brand split. But why? Between SmackDown and Raw. No one gives a shit. Do I it from NXT and WWE. Then you have your war right there. You got well, my eyes. The thing is, is that they're keeping NXT as the Wednesday show, so they're trying to split the brand, the roster between Raw and SmackDown, and then NXT is the Wednesday show, which is okay, I guess. They're just trying to build up fucking ratings for SmackDown because nobody's watching SmackDown. Because honestly, SmackDown's bullshit. Like they're not doing anything with it. What they need to do is put Raw back to two hours, and then you know have a separate roster for SmackDown. Maybe throw AJ Styles in SmackDown so that way people will watch it. I'm looking at who's coming out here, TM61, obviously jobbers, they're trying to push, uh, you know, Ciampi and Gargano to be, you know, top tag contenders. TM61? But as long as American Alpha and the Revival are in this division, it doesn't fucking matter. No one else fucking matters. I'm serious. I know uh, H3 is cut and H5 is surf, but TM61, I don't know what the fuck... Who are these guys here? Like, who, who is this dude have the tat right here of some thing on his chest? Probably some Jap shit on his chest oh with some god. fire around it. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I, I love the Japanese. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. I do not like weeaboos, but I love Japan. Oh my god. Akisana, me and uh, my girlfriend are probably going to go there sometimes in the suicide forest. You know, have a couple beers, a couple laughs, see a couple dead bodies. All right, let me, let me tell you something here. I'm looking up TM60 through 61. Yeah, well, Chuck Stu here. and Chuck Stu saying that Windows phones, don't fucking buy them. Do not go to AT&T <laughs> because I cannot load TM or PT <laughs> Torch or whatever the fuck PW it's Torch, Pro Wrestling Torch. For my life. I can't load it on my phone for whatever reason, even though it's a fucking free app, it will not let me load it. So, Dr. Pro's Houston Buck is going to be giving you the insider news. And who is this team right here of TM61? Well, uh, 
I mean, I'm still trying to find out, honestly. Um, really, they're, they're, they're kind of jobbers. They're, like I said, they're really over to push. They're, they're really there just to push over Gargano and Ciampa because those, those two guys from Ring of Honor, they're, they're really like, they're used to be Ring of Honor tag team champions and everything. So, um, TM61 is a tag team. To the crowd is chanting name. Johnny Wrestling. Dr. Proceed's book, during the Raw event that just happened this week, in uh, last week in May, there was a match with Cesaro, Kevin Owens, The Miz, and Sami Zayn. The Raw of the match on Raw wasn't for any title or anything, but about 10, possibly 15 minutes into the match. I don't know. I only watched an hour and a half on Hulu. I'm not going to sit there and watch three fucking hours of wrestling in one program. I'm, so, I'm not doing that. But Dr. Pearl's Pearl... Um, the fans were chanting after Cesaro did those uh, fucking chop blocks to Miz, or it could have been Kevin Owens, I don't remember. One of them, during about 15 minutes in, they were chanting, fight forever. Because the match was really good. I don't think it was as good as the knock Sunsuke against Sami Zayn match. I don't think it was. It was Well, that's the match that they're saying, fight forever. That was, that was the one that you're, you're talking about. You're saying it in Raw, though. It really? It was another chant. They're yeah. saying it in Raw? It was oh, a fatal God. four-way. Yeah. Gross. You know what? I get it. I get, I get it. Like people, people want Raw to be a good. Look at that. That's a fucking atomic drop. I gotta announce. Uh, there's something about me that you guys might not know. Anytime I'm watching wrestling, if there's an atomic drop that happens, I must mention it because it doesn't happen that often. It's one of my favorite moves. And if Chuck Steele sees a perfectly executed missile drop kick, not to the chest, <laughs> but to the face, I will point that out. He will point that out because he it's likes. It's really it. difficult to fucking pinpoint a missile drop kick. Dr. Pearl's season book. Did you know that during the ECW One Night Stand in 2005 pay-per-view, during the match of Masato Tanaka, wrestling's greatest wrestler, going against Mike Awesome before he tragically died, uh, during that, about halfway through the match, after Masato was put through about three fucking tables, the crowd was chanting, this is awesome. That was in 2005, and that was the very first time I heard that chant. And now it seems like even though there's some type of high spot going on on Raw, SmackDown, whatever, a lot of fans are kind of chanting that when it doesn't really necessarily dictate well, for it being thing. that awesome. Here's know? the thing. This is awesome should never be chanted in any Raw or SmackDown event because it's garbage. Uh, right now, NXT is the only thing that's worth watching if you like an actual true wrestling fan. If you watch Raw and SmackDown and you enjoy it, then you're a fucking piece of shit. And you're just a fake-ass fan that just likes the entertainment, which is not what we do here. Here at the Chuck Stu Show, no kayfabe. We're all fucking marks for wrestling. Woo! We exactly. love we love good wrestling. That's why we're fans of American Alpha. We're fans of Finn Balor. We're yes. fans of Samoa Joe. We're fans of guys that actually bust their ass in the ring. Take case in point, Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler's in the main stage, but he gets buried every fucking second. Even though Dolph Ziggler, in my opinion, is the best fucking worker in the company right yes. now. Yes. The best worker. Once Daniel Bryan retired, Dolph Ziggler is it. But yet he gets buried every match. I, you know, it's not it's not long before he just quits. Because he's being treated like shit. Vince doesn't give a can. shit. Vince doesn't give a shit about good workers. All he cares about is the Samoan big guys that he can push to the top like Rowan Reigns. Or, or fucking Brock Lesnar, who's big. Like, Brock Lesnar is a good fighter, but he's not showing up for enough dates. I haven't seen him in fucking months. Where is he, he said in an interview that he wanted to take a job because of that whole thing in his, in his gut or whatever. Whatever that... What, still, I don't know what that thing's called, but he said he shit. wanted to take a job that was physical with full-time pay, but he won't have to show up part-time. So basically, he wants to not put in the work, but also get paid for, as if he was putting in the work. Rock Lesnar, if you do listen to Chuck Sue's show, we like to say thank you and fuck you at the same time. If you got a problem with that, I'll be leaving my address at the end of the show so you can come here and do something about it. Cause you yeah, won't. what are you going to do, bitch? Like, fuck you. Honestly, I don't give a shit. You're not going to waste your time anyway. We're back for a commercial break. Dr. Pearl's used a book. What do you want to give a shout out to for commercials? Well, let me tell you. I, I want to thank um, Pro Wrestling Torch for being my number one source of Mark Ass Wrestling News. I like listening to it because they have insider information and they talk like I would if I was running a wrestling blog. So I want to shout out to P Pro Wrestling Torch. PW Torch on the App Store, Google Play, whatever the fuck you do. Me too, fuck and good shit. going with the MMA Torch at the same time. MMA Torch, good yes. Going. Also also the same company, pretty good. Uh, I want to shout out to Wade Keller. He's the editor-in-chief, creator of PW Torch. He's a good man. He was recently on the Stone Cold Podcast, if you didn't know. I heard that. I yeah. heard the podcast. Yeah, yes. he's uh, he's pretty talented. 
he knows wrestling more than anyone I know. And uh, what's that man's name again? Wade Keller is his name. Did you know Wade Keller on Stone Cold podcast stated he's a huge fan of alcohol. Him and Stone Cold devoted a whole podcast episode to beer, and he likes the shit that we drink. He likes the hard ciders. He <laughs> likes the hard ciders. If he names Hornsby, I will marry that man. I'm and not I will gay. suck both your dicks. I am not gay, folks. But let me tell you something. This this in ring wrestling is pretty good so far. This TM sixty one. I didn't really get much information on them. Uh, one of them's named Nathan Drake, I think. But apparently they're pretty well heralded, and of course it's NXT. Yeah. So this is fucking is great technical wrestling. And what I want to know is why technical wrestling is so easy for NXT, but in WWE I see none of it. Why is that? Of, uh, what I've actually been noticing, because I still, I'll keep up with Raw, I'll watch it here and there. I mean, I actually did watch uh, Raw programming this week. I watched it two days, uh, no, I watched it on Tuesday. Um, a lot of fans don't want to, uh, the fucking kids don't want to see it. When they see technical wrestling, like I was actually watching before uh, Dr. Pearl Susie Book came over for us to watch the uh, Milo Yannanopoulos daily videos, that um, I was watching King of the Ring 2001, and that was Shane O'Mac versus Kurt Angle in one of the best matches I think I've ever fucking seen. That was a terrific match, I but remember that. First 10 minutes of the match, Kurt Angle was displaying his dominance by getting in the wrestling amateur position, and he and Shane would get on him and he would do like these weird fucking flips and shit from a fucking hands and knees Fucking thing like amateur wrestling, you know, Kurt Angle just being the top dog he's a wrestling. That's Fans right. were fucking booing, and they of were... Of course they were booing. First 10 minutes, and then after the match, everyone gave a standing ovation. Fuck the fans at the fucking King of the Ring 2001. Sometimes you're right, sometimes you're wrong. Well, the thing is, is that, like, every time I watch NXT, I'm always impressed by the quality of the matches. There's always great matches, always great chain wrestling, but yet in Raw, I'm just disgusted the whole, the whole fucking show. I watch, you know, three-hour Raw, two-hour Raw, whatever it is, whether you watch it live or on Hulu, you're disgusted the whole fucking time because you have shitty-ass fucking wrestlers getting pushed. People like The Miz, who's the fucking Intercontinental Champion, they're making a Marine 5, I just found out today. A Marine fucking 5 what? with The Miz as the, cha as the guy. And, of course, his wife's in it, too, because she's a fucking whore, and she needs to show off her titties on the fucking screen. I'm sure that's something she will do. In, in ample I don't want to pay $12. Evidence. I mean, yeah, Listen, she's attractive. I saw The Marine 2, and that was the one with Ted DiBiase Jr. in it, and it you sucked ass. You watched that film? I actually watched that film, and it sucked ass. We're not even talking about the original one with John Cena that actually got ratings and said it was good. We're talking three through five, The Miz fucking shows. Who the fuck thought that The Miz is going to be a good fucking wrestler, honestly? But I'm just saying that The Miz is a piece of shit. He sucks. He never should have been world champion. And I don't understand why they're pushing him so hard. Like, Did he suck Vince's dick really well or something? Because that's the only explanation I have. Miz doesn't have any great size. He doesn't have great charisma. He doesn't have what Vince normally likes in his main event guys. But yet he's being pushed. He's always been pushed. So he must be have great throating skills because Vince must love that shit. Yeah, he's the Corey of the WWE. You know... Let me tell you something. The mid, Okay, so when it comes to a male's shaft, you have to use the tip of the tongue around the top of the shaft because that's where the most uh, pleasurable sensations... Oh, fuck, look like it broke his arm. Uh, sh who's, who's this guy right here? It looked like his fucking arm bent when he hit the fucking railing. Anyways, you gotta use the tip of the tongue <laughs> around the shaft to get the sensation and Miz, out of the, everyone in the locker room who's willing to suck Vince's dick, knows how to do these things because he's watched pornos. So, that's my recollection. <laughs> Dr. Pearl Cisabug, let me ask you a personal question. Have you heard about Pat Patterson's cream team? His what? It's called the cream team. It was in the 80s. He would purposely hire uh, referees back then. I don't know. Maybe it's going on now. I don't <laughs> Who won? Uh, the uh, PM? Gar no, no, fuck no. Gargano and Ciano or Team Piampa won because they're the being jobbers pushed. won. No, no, th they're not the jobbers. Not the jobbers. TM sixty one of the jobbers. Oh, that um, guy's hands cut open. But you know what? I just looked online and I read that that uh, these two guys, Johnny and the Ciampa, are being scheduled for what's called 
the cruiserweight open that they're open having in WCW WWE WWE Network. Yeah. So. And this is not a show. I'm not doing that 999 shit that JBL was doing. I'm not gonna fuck well, JBL. Ole, ole, we need to fucking show from the network because it's 999. There's so much good shit on it. I'm not saying that there's not anything good on it because I watch that shit every day. But we're not shilling here. Yeah, fuck. You know what? Honestly, if you want to say fuck the network, I say fuck the network. Fuck I it. watch the network, but I only watch it for the Attitude Era stuff. Like for instance, right now I'm watching 2001 Raws and Smackdowns, and they're excellent. And they're just making me. Reminisce about the shitty fucking current roster that sucks. Yeah. Um, honestly, so. But I have to say, I'm, I'm pretty. I'm feeling pretty good about these teams. Uh, they, they look. They look good. They're good wrestlers. I think TM sixty one. The got pepperoni nipples. I think TM sixty one has the opportunity to be a good tag team. They just showed them respect, and so you know, I appreciate that. I pretty, yeah, I do too. You got surf. You got cut. You got uh, strength. And then there's two <laughs> other ones of the TMs. I'm not really sure. I don't remember exactly what they are. Are you talking about the HMs? The HMs, the HMs. Are, the, are the small, the bigger ones. The TMs are the ones like they have hundreds strength, of those. Move the boulders when you're trying to get to the plateau. You got the surf, uh, and then you got cut. And then there's like two other ones. I don't remember we what gotta, they we are. We gotta look them up now. Right here at Folso University in Orlando, Florida, Florida, the shittiest, the shittiest. States out of all 50 states, and I'm counting Arkansas here, or Kansas. Okay, what are, what are we watching? Okay, we're at another fucking commercial. All right, cut a commercial right now, Doctor Proceeds of Book. What are we um, What are we showing to this week? Well, I'd like to give a thanks to our perennial sponsors. Their names are Hornsby Hard Cider, and I gotta say, you know Hornsby. Doing a good job, buddies, but we have another challenger in the midst. Their names are Smith and Forge Hard Cider. For the first time in two years, you have a challenger. There's a challenger here. I gotta say, like the it, 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 Hornsby, you know, you always be my favorite drink. It's always delicious. I haven't had you in a couple weeks, though, because the total wine down the street is not fucking stalking you for some goddamn reason. I show up to the store and it's fucking empty. I'm gonna run the fucking shelf. It's pissing me off. So I'm getting Smith and Forge because that shit's available. Smith and Forge is also delicious, but Hornsby, you got my heart. And I gotta say, please stock your total wine in Tucson, Arizona, Broadway, and Wilmot. Please stock it. Because I need that sh I need my fucking fix. Me too. Yeah, I'm at the point where I'm a fucking addict here, and I need it. I mean, I'm even willing to drink it during the weekend. Like, the weekdays. Like, fuck work. I just want to get drunk. Like, fuck it. Is it really getting to that point that you need to taste? I need to taste the nectar. I, I need to taste the heaven. nectar of John Hornsby. Wherever you are, sir, please grant me the gift of your juices, and I want to suck them out. Please suck them out. Suck them out hard, like chrome from a chrome dome. I heard <laughs> that the best of the best Hornsby is the bottles he personally pisses in. <laughs> Well, I want those bottles, John. I want them. Please give them to me. John's Hornsby. When are we getting a tour of the Hornsby factory? I don't know. When he stops me in a bitch. Hey, look, there's Bailey. Now, I've asked you this before, Stooky. Uh-huh. Would you fuck? What would you do to Bailey in bed? If she just laid there naked and allowed you to do anything to her, what is the most extreme thing you would do to her? Well, you see, what I would do is I would take the end of her hair because she never does it in like a... What is, what is not a ponytail, but the fucking thing where it's like both things are pigtails? Pigtails, yeah. Julie does it like the one ponytail on the side, a little immature. But I would use that as like a what, like a horse's tail, and I would beat my dick with it. I want to say that I would impregnate Bailey because I think she's attractive. And I she's would fit. impregnate every woman on the screen here. That's she true. looks like she's trying not to fucking laugh. Nia Jax is a fucking beast, and I would just destroy her pussy. Oh look, and who's this? Whoa, Carmella. Carmella. C -A -M -I -L -L -E. Carmella. All right. L L E. Did you say C I M A L L E? C U M I N G. Camel Camigula. Coming. Coming. Hey, there's your boo. Hey, Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss is the hottie that's currently occupying the background of my computer, and she is a dime and a half. And I bet she sucks so much dick. <laughs> it's not even funny. 
She just looks like the type that would suck a lot of dick. I'm sorry. A lot, a lot, a lot. You're not tonight. So obviously they're portraying Carmella to be the face, but I don't give a shit. Hey, look, it's Baby Metal. Baby Metal, Sean Stuckey's favorite band. <laughs> Chuck Stu's favorite band, Baby Metal. The official theme what? song of NXT TakeOver called Karate? Karate by Baby Metal. Fuck Baby Metal. Fuck them. Fuck those little girls. Fuck their style of music. It's corny as shit. Fuck you, Rob Zombie, for getting in the face of the fucking interviewer. I hate that shit. Okay, Chuck. I never even did the beginning. We're on the commercial break here. Yeah. Once again, hello. I am the one. I'm your benevolent overlord. I am the one, the baby metal kicker asser of any fan who likes baby metal. And they shitty metal, metalcore, whatever it is. I am your man, Chuck Stu. Here, proud. I'm standing up for my rights. Milo the Annapolis, Donald Trump. And right here is the man, as always, the man who does the introductions. He calls it right down the middle, except when it comes to the jobbers, because he knows how to give them their due. Dr. Pearl's Houston book. I just saw a commercial that said Tequila Volcano. And you know what that reminded me of? Tequila Tequila. Now that bitch, she used to be the bitch that had the most MySpace followers back in 2008 or 2007 or some shit. Now you look at her profile and she's a Nazi bitch. She's a Nazi fucking white supremacist. And she's fucking Asian. How does that make sense? Did she get some bad dick or something? Like did some black guy fuck her and like it, it just traumatized her? <laughs> is now she is she's now she's a white supremacist and she can't take it anymore. But I wanna say shout out to Tila Tequila. If you're listening right now, come on our show and we will give you uh, some hard dick to think about. I'm just saying. I will give you the darkest day of your life because Chuck Foley's baby boy is coming home. Bang, bang. Chuck Foley's baby boy. All right, looking on the screen right here, it looks like it's Rey Mysterio, but I know it's not. I know it's wrestling number five. I know it's some bullshit shit that's going to be botch. It's going to be a botch. I don't like seeing it because it annoys me because I know that this character, whoever he is, is going to botch the shit out of all his matches. Any guy with a mask always botches, and I hate it. <laughs> if you were raised in AAA, you triple suck. Andrade Cien Almas? That's too Almas. long of a name. That's too long of a fucking name. Cien? Shorten that shit up. Say A Almas. Just have that to be your name. Like, stop the shit. Andrade is a pinche culo. I bet he's going to suck. Just watch. He's going to suck ass. And then that's going to be a big issue. But I digress. All right, who's coming out now? Is this Nia Jax? Uh, Austin Aries. There we go. There yes. it is. Austin Aries. Is he going to team up with Sensuke again? To make the world's greatest tag team again? We'll see, but I bet I bet Shinsuke and Austin are gonna have a good ass match at Takeover. Just watch. Yeah, they're gonna have a good ass match. I mean, since Shinsuke Nakamura is already ready to headline WrestleMania, who was the guy that was headlining WrestleMania last year? Or the last uh, time we saw Roman it? Reigns and Brock Lesnar. Roman Reigns and Triple H in the main event, and Brock Lesnar against Dean Ambrose in the match where uh, Brock didn't look like he wanted to take too many bumps. Hold on, he's got a microphone in his hand. Just a second. Oh shit. The best, one of the most overused phrases in all of professional sports. Everybody wants to be the best, everybody wants to lay claim that they are the best. But the problem with that is you're only the best until someone better comes along. That's why I've always preferred to simply be great. Because once you've proven your greatness, nobody can take that away. But how do you prove your greatness? Is it by earning a reputation over a decade of having undeniable talent in this ring? Yeah! Is it by winning championships and titles everywhere you've ever competed? Yeah! Or is it by creating a buzz by debuting for the hottest brand in the globe 
That's that fucking right. Even more. The hottest brand is NXT. That's just that's the bottom see, line. I've done each and every one of those things. But I've also realized that timing is everything. And at the time that I walked in the door of NXT, there were other people who were grabbing all the attention. That's okay though. Nakamura! A lot of people got Nakamura! Nakamura! All that is about to change. Because after Samoa Joe and Finn Balor settled their rivalry in the steel cage, no matter which one comes out on top, I'm making a statement right now. It is simply a matter of time before Austin Aries is the NXT champion. Oh, he's making a claim for the championship. Because I'm not a man who sits on the... Oh, shit. Oh, who is it? Who is it? It's Shinsuke Nakamura! It's Shinsuke Nakamura! Oh my god! Oh my god! My boy! This, this is alright, so Austin Aries is making a, a claim for the title, but now Shinsuke is coming out to make his claim for the title. This dude barely speaks English, and yet he's coming. Look at him. The crowd loves him. The fucking, the, 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 all the marks love him. I love him, like goddamn. I give women him the, love him. Yeah. Men love him. He makes men want to be women. Shinsuke Nakamura. Listen to me. This is this is the man that'll headline WrestleMania next year. I'm calling it. Him and Finn Balor will be the main event next year WrestleMania. Chuck Stu and Doctor Pearls were both calling it. Now it's going to be Finn Balor with the WWE's dumbass championship against Shinsuke Nakamura. WrestleMania next year, next March or April, and Shinsuke's gonna beat him. Yeah, Shinsuke's gonna take the title from him. But, Shinsuke but if Vince is, is still in charge with Triple H, it's gonna be the Miz versus Ryback of the Miz. <laughs> <laughs> the Miz, WWE three-time WWE champion versus Ryback, sixteen-time WWE champion. <laughs> All in the one year. But we're joking here. We want Austin Aries to be in the part of the main roster. We want Samoa Joe, Shinsuke, Finn Balor. All those guys need to go to the roster and replace Big Show, Mark Henry, Ryback, all the fucks that are left. I will personally fight. He's going to talk. He's just turning up. Oh, shit. He's talking in Japanese. Oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, you don't understand Japanese, right? I don't understand you. Yeah, me too. Anyway, NXT Championship now coming to greatness. Coming to King or Song Star. Oh, shit! Oh my god! Yes! 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 Nakamura! 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 What is it? Ladies, it's Firstly, allow me to commend you on the incredible impact you've had since you came here to NXT. And I was incredibly intrigued last week to see you as a tag team, but seeing you both stood there, I, I'm seeing something more. Out of there, you British cock! Take over! Take over! Take over! Take over! Take over! Take over! I agree, yes. Gentlemen, I'd like to see you compete against each other. Yeah! 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 It will be Austin Aries against Shinsuke Nakamura. Oh! Oh! Yes! 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 He's got your shirt. Yeah! Emma! 
god! Oh my god! We're watching this baby review, I don't give a shit! Oh, we're watching it. You know what? I gotta say. That was amazing. If there's ever a chance we can go to NXT, I wanna go to an NXT show. Uh, let's I'm look at the dates right shit. now. Let's look at the dates. I wanna go to one. Oh, we're going. Because you better believe that that shit's gonna be a hot ass show. Yes, oh we are God. done. We are the marks. Oh my ah. god! American Alpha, the revival! Oh, oh my god! Take over, yes! Take over! Take over! Yes! Yes! What a match! There they are! Oh, they're fucked! I have that shirt! You have to. Your toughest opponents to revival. You know what? You're probably right. Dawson, the Revival, they're the toughest team that we stepped in the ring with to date. But we know what we're going to get with them. We know that they're going to come out and they're going to try and punch us right in the mouth. That's what they do. Mm, they love to fight and they're good at it. But that ain't a boxing ring, boys. That's a wrestling ring. Yes! Two better guys on the planet than American Alpha. Nope, there aren't! It's NXT TakeOver Dallas, Portland, Minnesota, Chicago, the UK. We'll prove it anywhere. I'm anywhere! So at TakeOver. On June 8th, you guys bring whatever you got. Bring them nasty little attitudes we've seen you with the last few weeks, huh? Yeah! Not at all. Because just like we do every single time, we're going to be there and we'll be ready. Willing. <laughs> so sick. So sick. And Gable. And Gable! Oh my god! Yes! 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 Oh my lord! Oh! Folks, Dr. Pearls has lost his voice once again, and let me tell you, I haven't been this excited about wrestling in a long a time, long in a time. long time. And I have to say, there's something about NXT, American Alpha, they just do it for me, man. Like, they just got the talent. Fucking best. Holy shit. Did you hear that promo? It was ridiculous. They're ready. They're fucking ready. Ready, willing, and fucking Gable. Oh my god. Look it up the tour dates right now. Oh my god. Oh, shit. Who's this fan? A day to remember, paranoia. Like a day to remember. Come on, just give me the list. Just, I don't care. Give me the no advertisements. Give me the list. Who's this? Who's this? This is no way, Jose. No oh. way, Jose. <laughs> Damn it! And I see you have no way, to go to do something. No way, Jose! No way, Jose! No way. It's a mix of Carlito and fucking uh, Bruce Clay. Yes. Dancing black slash Caribbean man. Yes, the fucking United States, you fucking idiot. Chuck's getting buck here. I'll get buck. I'll be right back. All right, for the first time, let's go ahead and call a match here. Damn it. Okay. Chuck's due here, and what we're going to be doing is uh, calling the match between No Way Jose and... I uh, actually do not see the name of the wrestler here. I don't recognize him. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. He's strutting around the ring. Uh, people seem to be getting into him. No Way Jose out now. People are dancing in the audience. They seem to like this guy. He's only been, uh, he debuted about two or three weeks ago, and he's already uh, captivating the audience with his wacky Jamaican dancing. And so that guy, I mean, he's all right. Uh, he didn't do the splits there, that wasn't cool. Uh, fucking R-Truth is a hack, and he can do the splits. Who is this guy? It looks like the, this guy looks like fucking, what's his name, he just got injured. Uh, Adrian Neville, this is what this guy looks like right here. He's tightening his wrist, the fucking tape on his wrist. 
and he's getting ready to fucking fight No Way Jose. Come on, Jose, quit dancing. Just fucking lock up. I just want to see strong style shit. I don't want to see dancing. He's got him in the headlock, but he's doing some type of shimmy with his hips to this guy right here. I don't know what the fuck this guy's name is. I see the B. What's his name? Ba okay, his name is Vandal. Uh, Vandal's been put in the headlock here, but uh, no way Jose is just doing this weird shimmy as he's got the guy in the headlock. Dr. Proceeds, but go ahead and cook that shit. Yeah! No lunch, no dinner. You best cook that shit. And Jose, he's still doing that weird uh, fucking Jamaican hip thrusting, uh, fucking dancing here. He's strutting right now. No way Jose, he's actually got the fans behind him. What I was just saying a second ago, Jose, no way, is, uh, looks like he's becoming slowly a hot commodity here at NXT. And if you're fucking, no one's going to interrupt me, fucking Corey Graves or uh, Captain Fucky Boy. You guys are not going to interrupt me. And guess who came in? I forgot to eat. And guess who came in two weeks ago to Safeway? Dr. Pearl. Robert came in. He came up and talked to me when I was putting in apples. Ah! <laughs> he said, how do you like working here? And I said, it sucks. No way, Jose. He just ducked the clothesline. And it looks like he was good about to go for the Stone Cold Stunner right there. But it was actually a jump up into a flip. One arm snap. Mary, he's got him. It was going to be a Samoa drop right here. Uh, no way, Jose is doing the uh, he's doing the helicopter spin like what Cesaro does with the big spin that he did to the Miz on uh, Raw, and he's putting his index fingers up. He's gonna spin the other way. No way, Jose spin the other way. Doctor Pearls, he's actually gotten the fans eating out of his. Oh, uh, that was Mr. Kennedy's fucking special right there. Oh, uh, we doing the road dog strut to the leg drop right there. It's looking pretty good. I'm like, I'm starting to get into this guy, no way. Uh, fucking uh, black man right here. Then when I see, gets this Adrian Neville fucking copy, Mr. Vandal. He's probably from the band The Vandals. He's thinking about Anarchy Burger and Spider Man. So now he's punching, he's throwing up. He's throwing Vandal to the uh, fucking turnbuckle. He comes up and now he's doing the road dog fucking punches. I need a drink. I also need a drink. That's a double axe handle, bam, to Mr. Vandal right there. He's doing, uh, looks like uh, Triple H is actually getting the best jobbers in NXT because I don't even think I've seen a jobber other than Eva Marie actually do a fucking bad job. They're all fucking top tier fucking wrestlers, so good job for that trip. What I want to know, this is, this is my theory, okay? As Dr. Pearl sees in the book, this is my theory, all right? The theory is that for NXT, Triple H chooses wrestlers that he actually respects, like, professionally in the ring. Yes. He chooses guys that have good chain wrestling techniques. Guys Whoa, can, right there. Three count. Guys that can actually show in the ring, he chooses those guys. But for the WWE, he chooses guys for the entertainment factor, for whether kids will like them. All the bullshit reasons why wrestling sucks today, when in reality what he should do is move all the good chain wrestling guys to the main roster and fuck all the entertainment because they suck. So the guys that can fucking wrestle need to be in the main roster because, I mean, I know it's not like, you know, entertaining, like the kiddies won't like it, but fuck the kiddies. They're not the ones that buy your shit, it's their parents that do. Their fucking parents, like our age here, that are buying their shit, you need to cater to us because I'm tired of it. Now, did you see that, to the did you see that Strong Style C's t-shirt? We need to get that. Yes. People yes. are wearing Nakamura Strong Style t-shirts. I want to wear that. We need to get another one next time I get a fucking check at work. And hopefully this time Desiree you can give me enough hours for me to make them a little bit more than 120 <clears throat> bucks. But Desiree, if you need to pay Sean more, I will fuck you. I will pity fuck you if you want to pay Sean more, please. I'll pity fuck please you. Please pity. Well, actually, I'm thinking the check is actually going to be pretty good because I got 37 hours this week. I don't understand this thing of not being able to give all the fucking people their 40 hours. Never really made sense to me because the CEOs are making a eh, hell of a lot of money. But Desiree, you may look like a crack whore, but I'll pity fuck you if it'll give you Sean more money. And you need to fucking <laughs> sit down, fucking Todd Phillips, or whatever the fuck the guy in the left's name is. I don't want to watch this fucking dance. No, come on, Corey. You, you shit. You, you fuck. You cuck. 
Corey is a cuck and a half. Get to the and next match, you, you cuck. You cucks. Yeah, they're, they're trying to put. They're trying to push No Way real hard. Oh, No Way, Jose. He's getting pushed already. The fans are already behind him. This is like his third fucking match. He's, they're already behind. They like this guy. So, I mean, I'm glad they. Pr he probably went through the fucking ringer for like ten years on the Indies. Like, I'm sure fans shit on him threw fucking buckets of piss. Bucket of fucking cups of piss on him. They're probably throwing deep batteries at his fucking head. Right, he's were, you know, he came up to here. Now fans are behind him. He's living a good life. He can feed his fucking kids. His wife isn't pissed off and fucking all his friends. Like, so he's he's doing a good job. Finn, ba Finn Baylor. Finn Balor. How do you pronounce his damn name? Desiree, if you're listening to this. He doesn't mean that. He just saw a couple of your pictures and Dr. Pearls just bushes into the thick women. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's you know what? Let me see some of her pictures right now. Look him up. I want to see some of her pictures. We're going to do it on the big screen. Fuck that. On the big screen? Okay. On the big screen. You My fucking your... phone keeps, it keeps kicking me off the internet. Why? Why? <laughs> I'm gonna sign on Facebook, all right? All right, you all delete my information. You sign in. Okay. And I wanna see Desiree, and you're gonna send her a message saying my boy Rob wants to have a date. Even though I'm gonna see her tomorrow morning at fucking six in the morning. Yep. Wanna shoot myself right now for having to fucking go in that early and put up with her and the other fucking people in the back room's bullshit. Getting ready to walk out of that fucking job. Anyways. Chuck's dude, what's this? Memory of one year today? <laughs> I forgot about Did that. Did you make that sign? Hey, there's a, uh, something's beeping here. What's that? Give her a heart, then give her a tongue, and then give her a face, and give her I ain't afraid to say that. I got a message. You talking to yourself? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> where's your Where's your friend? What's her name? Desiree. Desiree. Just type in D E S. Right there. No touch screen. Sorry, buddy. Uh oh. Right. No matter who wins, I will defeat them. What? How come her and Shinsuke don't have a tag team? Go pro? No, no. No. No, bitch. You don't have to do fucking GoPro. Hold on, Dr. Pro's going to go to the city. Jay. Dr. Pearl Tucson book, we're going to be going through the lightning. Yeah! Oh, look at this one. 
Herb's gonna get fired. <laughs> what? I'm getting fired? I hope you don't get fired. <laughs> Probably. Desiree, my friend Rob wants to meet you. He said you're the most beautiful creature. <laughs> Dr. Brosey's book, we're gonna be doing the lightning round right now. Okay. Uh, that we did on the last season. Oh, look, she is the rest of the beat. Holy shit, Carmella's ass oh, doesn't here's, quit. Here is your favorite female wrestler coming out there she is. right now. Look at her. And she kicked uh, what's their name to the side? Oh, uh, uh, I, Mojo and Mojo and Raleigh. No, it wasn't them. Wait, was it them? Yeah, Mojo and Raleigh, the Hype Brothers. Okay, yeah, yeah. you're right. That was last week. Uh, doctor. You no, know, I just say I don't know if I like Alexis Bliss because she looks like she sucks too much dick. Like she would be like the kind of guy, the kind of girl that would suck dick like with no question. Fine with me. To get her head, you know. Uh, well, I want my head. Only, so. only if I get hit first. Doctor Pearls, this is the segment that we're going to be doing that we did on the season premiere on the first episode or the last episode on the first season. And Doctor Pearls, season book, we're going to be doing this because next week. It is going to be our one year anniversary for the Chuck Stew Show. So Here's we're gonna your bitch, be going. Jack. So for this match, I'm going to be listing through what we used to do with our political podcast before changing change to wrestling. And I'm going to be telling Dr. Pearls, he's a book here, what he thinks on these subjects in rapid fire succession. Here we go. Three, two, one. Gucci Mane going back to prison. Uh, best rapper alive. Catholic priest winning debate against Bill Maher in real time. Um, if there's little kids involved, then the Catholic priest will be interested. Herpes apparently causing Alzheimer's. Well, folks, who's your taking medication? Milo threatened with assault at Brebart College. Don't threaten Milo, he's the next president. Dean throwing Jericho into thumbtacks. That's some played out bullshit, you can't do it as, bad, as good as Mick. Olympics being moved due to Zika virus. Fuck that shit. Just play it. And if you get the Zika virus, then you better be a good Olympic champion and win. What really is the point of having the Olympics if you're not going to have fucking MMA? Like, what's the, what's the point? They're trying to eliminate wrestling from MMA. That's, I'm from, from I thought life. they already eliminated it. That was the plan. Next one. New Food City opening in Second on Broadway. Oh, that's good, but it should be a Rasputin's. Ray beams of light shooting out of a black hole. Well, that doesn't make any sense because black holes should not accept anything like light. The slow death of antibiotics. Well, let me tell you something. Antibiotics do use your good infection, but fuck the antibiotics. There's some bullshit. bullshit. Donald Trump winning, winning Republican nomination. It's, uh, it's inevitable Donald Trump's going to be the champion, but uh, we got Bernie Sanders to fight him. Obama visits Hiroshima, Japan. Obama's just fucking doing whatever he wants right now. He doesn't care. Uh, he's, he's already out as president, so no one gives a fuck. Uh, Bev. Bev is my next sexual partner. Sean Stuckey starting petition to get record um, whorehouse, warehouse in Tucson. If it, it was a record whorehouse, then that's what I support. Um, but Sean Stuckey, you are a good man, and I support. I will sign your petition. 12 million vehicles have been recalled. Uh, I, well, I'm not sure. I don't understand the context, but you gotta fucking fix that shit. Facebook caught giving dark, untraceable money to the Hillary Clinton campaign. Well, it's, it's what we expected, because Hillary Clinton's a shillery bitch. Because Milo Yannanopoulos said he wouldn't have a sit-down with... What's the guy who found him? Mark Zuckerberg? Yeah. He wouldn't have a sit-down because Mark Zuckerberg gave an closed amount of money to Hillary's Clinton Clinton's super PAC. I think that should all be fucking put in public. Yes, thank you. China's death, or uh, she's dead. Rest in peace, China. Uh, you did a good job back in the day with feuding with Jeff Jarrett, and uh, I wish you would have gotten your, you know, your re rematch or your comeback, but you know, shouldn't shouldn't have succumbed to drugs. Or or gun. Yeah. Subway allegations on how fresh their food actually is. Well, I have to say that I I just heard a, a, a insider story about the tuna Subway. Oh, they used two-day-old Subway, uh, two-day-old tuna, so Subway shit is not fresh, as they say. It's bullshit. No. They don't listen to them. Chance the Rapper being first artist to do high sales by downloading. That's terrific. It's good to hear Chance the Rapper. He's changing the game. Artists don't need any, and they don't need labels anymore. It's just like you come to streaming and you're good. I prefer to own my music, but good, good for Chance. He's a good guy. 
Uh, Bernie Sanders not in the main media networks while winning states. Well, what do you expect? I mean, Bernie Sanders is the underground guy. You don't want Bernie Sanders to win because Bernie Sanders doesn't have the fucking backing that Hillary does. But he's going to win the fucking presidency regardless. The death of Prince. R.I.P. Prince. I don't listen to your music, but you affect a lot of people. I saw a bunch of, a bunch of fucking uh, memorials in New York, and we appreciate you. The drop in popularity with the music engine title. Well, title, you fucked up by making it $20 a month for once. Nobody wants to pay that shit. Especially for bullshit like fucking Jay-Z and Rihanna tracks. No one cares a shit. So just drop your fucking record, your price, and you'll be fine. People making Armageddon bunkers if Trump wins presidency. Well, you guys are overreacting. I mean, Trump's not going to really do anything. Because honestly, anything that Trump promises to do, he's not going to be approved by Congress. So it's a waste of time. Yes. Uh, the death of Balls Mahoney. R.I.P. Balls, you're one of the pioneers of the sport. I wish you would have gotten a better run in WWE, but I'm sure Vince buried you. Yeah. And R.I.P., buddy. Uh, the National Spelling Bee Finals. I read that despite all, the Spelling Bee Finals went to a draw for the third time in three years. And honestly, that's some bullshit. Because you guys and you kids need to fight to the fucking death. Even if it takes hours to spell correctly, you guys need to spell correctly. I want one champion... For the so spelling me. Yes, uh, the Calvary, uh, Calvary going to the finals in the NBA. Well, Cavaliers, I support you. LeBron James, you're a good guy. Probably the best in the league. I'm not a Steph Curry fan, so I want, I want LeBron to get his ring. But if the Thunder go, then I want the Thunder to win. The, the rise in popularity with the myth of the wage gap. Uh, the wage gap myth is bullshit. If you listen to any Milo's podcast, you know it is bullshit. So fuck all you that think that it's, a, it's an issue. I'll fuck you, feminists. I think it's bullshit. Last one. Where will the next terrorist attack happen? The next terrorist attack is going to happen in Paris, France. It's going to attack the Eiffel Tower, and they're going to destroy the Eiffel Tower, and Paris will crumble to the ground. And that was the Doctor vs. the World in our segment for season number two. Let's call it a match. I All think right. you've got some messages on here. I've heard some beeping. Probably yours, sir. Doctor Pearl's used to book is going to get me fired. But at the same time, when you think about it, if they're not going to give me fucking hours of the job, what would, the fuck was the point of being there anyways? The only, time, the only reason they're giving me hours is because I'm willing to put up uh, with having to come in at 6 in the fucking morning, which usually isn't a problem. But doing cut fruit is really a fucking pain in the ass, so I'm not really understanding that. But I can understand why nobody else wanted to do it when my boss was sending up people... To, uh, well, he was asking people if they wanted to do it, and no one wanted to, and I took the position because I thought it was easy. Uh, closing is really the only thing that's good about the job because it's really fucking easy to do. But doing the cut fruit, I'm not really sure about that. And if I go into work tomorrow and they give me a fucking write-up, I'm probably just going to tell my boss, put me in fucking produce, I want to close again, or I'm fucking walking out because what's the point if Corey, my new friend who works there, who was working as a fucking a cashier. He wants to go over to Starbucks. He's only making fifty-three dollars on his fucking check every week. Uh, how, how are you supposed to pay for anything with that? You might as well just w live with your family or fucking five roommates if that's the case. So, um, I mean, my boss, you know, she's a little hard to get along with in the morning. But then when it turns out for ten a.m., she's actually really cool to be with. It's just. We both have attitudes because it's fucking early in the morning. We got a lot of shit to do. She's a pretty cool person. It's just the job in itself fucking sucks. Fuck you, TJ. Fuck you, Wendy. And fuck you who run fucking Safeway thinking that we're supposed to do all the work and you don't have to do shit. Well, man. Oh, here's another thing. Dr. Pearl's used to book, you gotta get up like fucking 5 in the morning to take the fucking <laughs> bus to get down to the fucking surgery center so you can perform these fucking surgeries. Well, how about this? If they expect you to fucking get there on time or work your 8 hour shift, <coughs> then why doesn't your superior just pay for you to buy a fucking car then? Wouldn't that make more sense? You're working at a surgery center but taking the bus, it makes a whole lot of fucking sense. How about whoever boss, whatever Indian fuck you're working for, that's uh, ma ma making this shit happen when you're trying to perform the surgeries at the surgery center, how about he helps you out like the fucking people at my job are supposed to help me out? And quit, and quit, 
Quit making your life shitty. How about that? Here you go, Dr. Pearls. Here's a here's a somewhat of a nice check. But we know that you have a whole lot of fucking bills to pay for your fucking shit when you were in college. And we're aware of that. But fuck you anyways. We're just going to give you what makes you stay afloat. So you don't fucking rebel against us because we're making you sort of happy. And we don't want you revolting or striking. So fuck them too. If you're a CEO of a company and you, like, make a lot of money, like, fuck you. Seriously, fuck you. Anyway. I'm messaging that Victoria chick from your profile. Is that hello sexy? She's like, what's up? I'm like, how you doing tonight, baby girl? <laughs> the one I told to lie to daddy for this pimp daddy. Oh. I gotta tell you, I just requested, like, 100 people <laughs> to be a friend. <laughs> What? <laughs> Alright, that's why. I just kept clicking request, 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 request. Hey, this girl is pretty hot. Look at her. Right. What's her I name? I like it. Margarita Martinez. Her first name is Margarita? Like the drink? Who else requests? Is Diane, Michelle, and Margarita except for your pen request. Nia Jax is just one. She pinned Carmella. So much for uh, Carmella's push. So much for her fucking push. I'm fine with Nia Jax. I'm completely fine with her. She's a really good athlete. You know, it's different that they're pushing up, you know, a bigger girl. I'm, I'm completely fine with that. And she looks like she's a mixed breed of black and white. And that's... You got an A-plus in my book, baby. A fucking male version of Bob Marley. I'm, <laughs> I'll buy all your merchandise. Fucking, I'll fill Vince's pockets. Uh-oh. Here she comes. And have you noticed, Dr. Pearls, that we've been seeing this build-up between the fact that um, Nia Jax has been going against all these jobbers. They've been really pushing her for the last four weeks. That we've started this fucking podcast with the wrestling. She's won every single match that she's been in. And now she's going against Asuka for the world women's title. Yes. She's going to be taking on Asuka. It's going to be um, you and the Beast and either way I come. Oh. Here she comes to the ring. Either way, I'm loving it. It's ba 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 ba. Somebody messaged you, Dr. Pearls? Yep. I don't know about that. I think Nia Jax is going to fucking knock her out. And I, I'm a huge fan of fucking Asuka. She's the female Sunsuke Nakamura. Dr. Pearls used to look, that's the end of our program. It looks like uh, for the last, what, two or three weeks, they've actually been pushing the women in the main events here. Carmella lost. I'm okay with that because of Nia Jax. And to end this program, Donald Trump got the nomination. Dr. Pearls used to look for the last year. It's been a little frustrating because we've been fighting against him and pushing Dr. Ben Carson up until about three months ago. And now he's giving the nomination. He was said he was supporting Trump. But also, since the very beginning, since the episode with Dr. Bill Hardy, number one, where we talk about the legalization of marijuana, we were bringing up Ben Sanders, Dr. Bernie. Bernie still has a chance. And Dr. Book, what do you think about that? Uh, Bernie still has a chance, but it's very, you know, slim. Honestly, unfortunately, that's just how it is, you know. But the thing is, he's going to win it. I'm just saying. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's going to slide in under the ropes, get the pin, the rep's going to count to three, and Bernie will be our new president. Thank you for listening to the Chuck Sue Show once again. I'm your host, Chuck Stu. This is the doctor right here, the guy who prescribes all my medications, Dr. Brosey's book. Yep. And we are out. See you on the flippity flip side. Peace out, bitches.